Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick video to show how the new 13 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar handles gaming. The machine I'm using has the base i5 processor with Iris 550 graphics and this one has 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the computer definitely isn't meant for gaming but the Iris graphics do give some pretty decent performance for a computer this size so I thought I'd show you what sort of games might be playable on this new MacBook Pro. So the first game I decided to take a look at is World of Warcraft Legion. For anyone who plays World of Warcraft, you probably know that the graphics requirements took quite a jump up with the release of Legion. So I'm running this at 1440 by 900 resolution and at 100% render scale, so I haven't dropped that down. So you can see the graphics settings that I'm using here. Um, I basically chose the 5 preset, which is probably about medium settings. Uh, I raised a few settings up. I think I raised the text resolution and maybe a couple others a little bit. Um, but this is probably the best level for performance on this computer. You could tweak a few to get a few more frames, but this game varies a lot in frame rate anyway, so I chose these settings. Um, so you can see here I'm just running around the main city. Frame rate kind of bounces between, you know, high 30s to 50 to 60 frames per second, which is pretty good. And as you'll see through the rest of the video, the frame rate fluctuates quite a bit depending on what's going on. If you're in an area with uh, a lot of different scenery pieces or players around, you'll notice the frame rate will be a bit lower. Um, and if you're in an indoor area, it tends to be a lot higher. You know, I think you'll see at one point this goes up to 100 plus frames per second. But generally it hovers around 60 at these settings, so it's, uh, it's really quite playable. Now, I do have to apologize for the quality of some of this gameplay footage. One thing that really tanked the frame rate in most of these games was trying to record the screen. I would see the frame rate drop by sometimes 20%, so it wouldn't be a very good representation of how this actually plays. So I'm just recording this with a normal camera pointed at the screen. Worms are critical in guarding the Arkendor from pests. Capture more from the vineyard in Sodomar City. Fell infusion has become all the rage among those eager to please the Legion. There is no redeeming these traitors. Hunt them down. The next game I'm taking a look at is Counter-Strike Go. Um, I just set the settings at the default that the game chose for me. Um, everything's pretty high, so there's a lot of room for flexibility here. You can raise some settings, drop some a little bit. I played it at 1440 by 900 resolution again. Dropping the resolution to 720p didn't really have any impact on performance that I could see, so I imagine you could also raise it to 1080p without much negative impact. This is a pretty old game, and I haven't played it in over three years, so you have to excuse my gameplay. You can see the frame rate jumps around a lot, but it's almost always over 60 frames per second. You'll see it reach over 100 at some points, but generally it's very playable with these detail settings.
So I've booted into Windows 10 now to try out a few more graphically intensive games. If you're wondering about my setup, I'm actually running Windows off of an external SSD to save storage space, but I did test with Windows installed via Boot Camp, and there's no noticeable performance difference when playing games. So first up is Overwatch. I'm running this at 1280x800 resolution, which is basically 720p, but it fits the 16x10 screen of the MacBook a bit better. You can see the settings I'm using here. I basically took the low preset and the only thing I changed was I moved the render scale up to 100% because I think that it could still maintain over 60 frames per second at that 100% render scale and does improve graphics a little bit. So everything else at the lowest setting, uh, frame rate uncapped just for the purpose of this video, but normally I'd play with it capped at 60, mostly just to avoid the fans revving up too much. So you'll see the frame rate generally hovers in the high 70s, the low 80s, sometimes it'll even go up to 90. You could probably tweak the graphics settings a little bit to improve image quality, but I do notice that it does occasionally drop down into the 60s. I find in a game like Overwatch, where reaction time is really important, you really want to keep it around that 60 frames per second mark and never have it drop below. So that's why I just left it at the low settings. With the render scale at 100%, it does look pretty good anyway, even on low graphics settings. And the last game I'm going to take a look at is the 2016 release of Doom. Now this game just came out this spring and it has some very high graphic requirements. So I'm playing this at 1280 by 800 resolution. I have the field of view left at the default 90. Raising either of those will impact performance a bit. I'm using the OpenGL API because the Vulkan one doesn't seem to work properly on these Iris graphics chips. I've chosen the lowest graphics presets. You can see everything is set to pretty much the lowest settings, uh, with the exception of render scale. I've set that to 100% because it didn't seem to impact things too badly. So you can see our frame rate is somewhere in the high 30s to low 40s. Uh, different areas will obviously have different impacts on frame rate, but generally it stays in that 40 frames per second range, which is not too bad considering this is a really graphically intensive game. It doesn't even look that bad at the low detail settings. I don't think anything below this frame rate would be very playable because this is a very fast game, but it is really quite playable at these settings on this MacBook Pro.
Now I did want to quickly show you how this game performs on the medium graphics preset. Uh, just a word of warning, the MacBook is going to get very loud playing at these settings. Uh, I found my fans kicked on to 100% and almost never slowed down the entire time I was recording this. So you can see that the frame rate has dropped a bit on these graphics presets. We're looking at mid-30s now instead of 40s. However, it does get a bit closer in performance once there are more enemies on the screen. So this area where we were only hovering at about 30 frames per second with the low presets, we're not doing too much lower than that on the medium preset. So I think you could tweak some settings and maybe keep it above 30 but still have slightly better graphics quality. That was a quick look at a few games running on the new 13-inch MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. If you'd like to see some other games, leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.